Okay, so 4.2 seconds, which is, uh, where is that? That's right here. Right? What is its position, velocity, and acceleration? Let's predict here, right? Our position is going to be somewhere between negative uh, 2 and negative 3. Okay? Uh, our velocity is going to be, so somewhere between <laughs> x will be between negative 2 and negative 3. Let's see. I can't even do the greater or less than. The velocity will be, I believe, positive, right? Uh, the acceleration, because it's going to be, oh wait, yeah, yeah, that's a positive slope there, right? And then the acceleration, since we're below the equilibrium point, we'd be accelerating toward it, which would be upward or positive, okay? So these are these are my predictions here. Um, let's, uh, let's get our equations, okay? Uh, remember that x is is the opposite, their magnitude's three, right? And it's an opposite cosine, right? So three meters cos, and then omega is just pi times t, right? And our velocity is, uh, and then we just take basically the derivative of that, right? So um, that becomes positive, sorry, the derivative is some calculus thing, right? Three pi sine pi t, right? Those are those are the formulas that we came up with, right? And this guy's positive. So now we just have to plug that in. You got to make sure you are in radians. Okay, so our x is going to be uh, the opposite of 3 cosine of pi times t. All right, I'm turning my calculator on. I'm checking the mode. Oh, I'm in degrees. That will not work. I'm now in radians. Okay, so I'm going to go the opposite of 3 cosine pi times 4.2. Please be a number between negative 2 and negative 3. In fact, it is. Look at that. It is negative 2.427 meters. Yay! All right, um, let's figure out what the velocity is. The velocity is going to be not super big. And it's going to be positive because there's a positive slope. That slope is positive. Okay, so V is positive 3 pi sine pi t. Okay, so I just have to plug the 4.2 in there. Okay, so I'm going to go 3 pi sine pi times 4.2. Okay. And I'm getting a positive 5.54, I'll say. So I did get a positive value. That seems good. We did get a number between negative 2 and negative 3. And then let's look at our acceleration. Acceleration is just simply going to be the opposite of omega squared times x, right? So the opposite of omega is just pi. So pi squared times our x, which is negative 2.427, right? So I'm going to go uh, opposite of parentheses pi squared times my, this should be a, a positive number, right? And I'm getting 23.95, so 24.0 meters per second squared. Ta-da. Did that work? I think that worked. 